I got him with the mines, baby. I got his ass with the mines. How does she not die? Question mark? What? Transformers, robots in disguise. It's been, been a minute. <laughs> we got one, boys. Get her. Yes. 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 Oh, man. Three in a row. Three in a row. Hi, welcome to the stream. My name is Red the Deer, and today we found ourselves sitting here in the lobby, getting ready to queue up for Heroes of the Storm. We are going to be playing Tassadar all day, and I mean all day. We're playing him, and we're streaming until I win five straight. Straight. Can't lose. Or resets. This is a crazy idea. For those who do not know, generally, if you get a 50% win rate in any game, you're pretty good at it. So the fact that I am going to be playing this game until I win five straight, that's five in a row without losing, that means that I have the potential to be playing the game forever. Now, let's get on into it and see how I actually succeeded in my task. I don't mind soloing. Rainer should probably solo. But I've got a quest that doesn't involve heroes, so I don't mind soloing at all. So this was the first game of the day, and I was feeling very, very hopeful that this was going to be a pretty easy challenge. Battlefield of Eternity is one of my favorite maps, Tassadar is one of my favorite heroes, and I figured this would go pretty smoothly. Until you start seeing the reasons of why this is such a crazy hard challenge. Oh boy. Oh boy. Turns out you cannot carry easily as Tassadar. Oh, we avoid the all, baby. That was huge. That was huge. I'm on my way. Just live. Everyone just live. No, I didn't make it. Yikes. <laughs> but he only have nine globes. <laughs> GG's. That sums it up. Still 0 for 2. This is going to be a long day. At least we've not won any. The moment that we win one, it's like straight pressure to continue to win. Transformers, robots in disguise. Alright, so sometimes it's like a little dude. It's not in this one. This one. Wait, what's this little dude doing? He's jerking off, right? It shouldn't come as a shock to anyone that I use silliness to deflect from how I'm actually feeling. In fact, my therapist tells me all the time that it's a problem. I don't know if I agree with that, but I'm definitely feeling stressed out here. I was worried I wasn't going to complete this challenge within the timely manner, and I did not want to be a loser in front of stream. <sighs> Lame. Hey, we're trying. We're trying, man. I don't think I've ever lost four in a row. Like... It's been a long time since I've lost four in a row. I've done three in a row a couple times in the last month, but four in a row is pretty rough. <laughs> I think that's just like a weird opposite to streamer luck for this challenge to last for as long as possible. So, you know, if I have to stream till six o'clock tonight, I guess I'll stream till six o'clock tonight. Hi, stream. It's me. Oh, that's weird. I just peaked. I just peaked at 106 viewers when you hopped on. <laughs> they have a tank and healer though. They don't have a tank. This is what I'm talking about. Why do we have Chen? And you know what? I'll benefit from it. I'm not gonna look a gift horse mouth in the mouth gift of its teeth horse. What? Going into game five and not having a single win under my belt had made me feel like this challenge might be impossible, or at least not under the circumstances I was currently playing. I was gonna change up my builds. I was going to start having to think about carrying rather than playing as a team. Unfortunately, in this game, if you look at the minimap now, you'll see we were well on our way to a victory and make one crucially bad mistake here, which is one of the reasons why this challenge is so hard. You could be winning perfectly fine, dominating the whole game, and make one bad mistake for it to crumble. 
they seriously win this one because of one bad team fight? Oh. Well, that's five straight losses. That's cool. I don't think I've ever had that happen. That's GG. <laughs> I'm so annoyed, bro. Five in a row. We literally lost that because of one bad team fight. For the first time today, I would say that we should have won that game. Hands hands down, single-handedly, should have easily won that game. Going into game six, I needed to change my entire mindset on what this challenge was. Obviously, I was going to be streaming for a long time that day. That's nothing new to me. But I just needed to stop worrying about the wins and start focusing on the gameplay. I never go static charge, but I feel like right now I have to kind of change the voodoo. Uh, static charge is so bad to play against Tracer and Val. I have to go with the auto attack build just because I can auto attack and kill Tracer. If I miss my Q when I'm playing against her, I die. If you know, you know. <laughs> they jumped on that booty fast. Ah! Wasn't paying attention there. Valorant's early game. Understood. Let's go get involved in the team fight. Yeah, you're lucky you've got a buddy right now, and I don't. There was no getting out of that. But we win the race. For some reason, they decided to abandon it and kill me. It's a freaking T-Rex noise. It's so funny. It's so dumb and so funny. It was about here in the game that I started to realize luck was going to be a major determining factor in whether or not I succeed in this challenge. Deathwing being on our team and being an absolute unit against their entire team of squishy assassins showcased how they just had no availability to even attack our backline. A lot of the team fights, if you notice, I'm just standing still while our front line pushes forward. It was a very, very good composition, and we are random queuing. So, we're going to have times where we get bad comps or good comps. This challenge was going to come down to a little bit of luck at the end. Hell yeah. That's why we go auto attack build against a tracer. No! Uh, why is she there? Damn it. It's like a perfect counter to Tassadar. It's so annoying. Please kill her ass. Yes. Good shit, good shit, good shit. Oh my god, he's so slowed. Yikes. Oh, he lives. Not on my watch. Why? <laughs> it's fine. Because of our success early on in this game, Deathwing actually started to get a little too overconfident, but we buckled down and secured the W for our first win of the day. Holy shit, this is what it feels like to win. Wow. It's been, been a minute. It's almost been too long of a minute. We got one, boys. We got ourselves one, one out of five. Hell yeah. <laughs> All right, I gotta go pee because I'm drinking so much water. Hold on. Ah, oh, fuck. We got ourselves another avatar. Oh, they got one too. So fuck freaking cute. I'm gonna squish theirs. Coming off of a single win, I was definitely in a happier place and ready for the rest of this challenge. However, it dawned on me about halfway through this game that if I lose, the entire challenge resets, and I started to feel a little nervous for that. Almost traded him. Val, get his ass! Get his ass, bird boy's over here! Why would you start with silence when you could start with stun? Your lucky Junkrat was aware of what was going on. Got him! <laughs> Well, I got him with the mines, baby! I got his ass with the mines! <laughs> Another one! <laughs> 
I became a beast in this game. Something in me just triggered and I played the best Tassadar I have ever played in my life. This gave me so much hope that I could actually accomplish this challenge. What is this little goblin thing? I've never seen this before. It must be a new talent or something. I think it's a Abamine. It's it's like a Abamine, but it's it's got to be from Asmodan. There you go. That's how you freaking do it, Abathur. Jump on his ass. She she dies with a Q. She dies with a Q. She dies with a Q. <gasps> she, he goes for the he goes for the finesse, the good to grace. He gets it. Asma was a beast. With me securing this objective and Asmodan getting that sweet final kill, this was basically the cherry on top. Moved on into our next game, ready, two wins down. <laughs> two in a row, chat! Two in a row! Here we go! I'm telling you, chat, we will. We're here until I do. Two out of five! I thought that was a little stressful. I'm feeling a little bit of pressure now. There's a there's a there's a feeling inside my chest that it's gonna explode. Is that what anxiety is? Chat was gracious enough to remind me that I still had three more wins to go, and looking at this lineup, I was not hopeful for this next game. It was definitely gonna be a battle, and from the very beginning, it was. Oh, well, we got the task. I'm a better Tassadar! Uh, good call, bot. Nice ping. Help me! Thought that they were still fighting Tychus on bot. Not, hey, Tychus isn't down here anymore. Where's the ping? Oh no, Medivh, Medivh, Medivh! Bruh. How is he alive? It's pretty remarkable. Watching this back, I started to realize as the games became more intense, I started to become more toxic. Obviously, I was blaming my teammates for mistakes I was making. I was getting upset when they weren't making the plays I wish they were making. But man, when you see a player do a perfect extension like Medivh just executed, does it completely turn your mentality around of how you can succeed in a game? Taking that affirmative action that he just did to save his own life gave us the courage to start accomplishing teamfight tactics. And when I mean teamfight tactics, I mean working together, using our abilities in unison to overcome the deficit that this game started off in. Have I ever been more proud of a comeback in my life you would have to show me the evidence of? This game was such a run saver. And man, did it make me feel super happy about the next two games needed to be able to complete this challenge. Oh man, three in a row, three in a row. There we go. That's nice. Two more. Maybe we'll get MVP one of these games. Here's the Storm is a 50-50 game. You're going to win 50% of the games you play on average. So me losing seven straight statistically means I should win seven straight. It's actually only six straight, by the way. So, if I was winning every other game, it would be very, very hard to complete five straight because I I padded the numbers negatively. We should finish this quickly. Oh, nice. Another actual game with a tank and a healer. Huge. And it's the same Tassadar from the other game that was dog shit. Nice. I must have triggered something eternal in me in the last couple games because i thought the last one i played was the best task at our game i've ever played man did i not miss a single shot in this one good save there joanna jo hanamana it was at this moment he knew he fucked up well she dies <laughs> Whoa. It also helps a lot if the enemy team is extremely unpracticed on the heroes they play. I think this might have been the Kira's first game they've ever played as Kira. They just had no idea how to actually stop the chain. So we capitalized on that heavily, and it was a very successful game. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh. 
They give up. They give up. They give up. Hell yeah. Get her! Yes! 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 That was so good! Oh man, that was so satisfying. Well done. Well freaking done, Tyronda, baby! Tyronda! Would have really liked to not have died there, but you know. You can always tell by the actual smile on my face how happy I am in a game. This one was very fun to play. Hardly ever in high stake situations do you actually have a fun time playing the game, but I wish all of them were this entertaining. Oh my god, yes. 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 Got his ass. See you all. Wow, I just completed my quest. Oh, where are you going, bro? Where are you going? She slowed. She's so much better for Tassadar than their Tassadar is. It's ludicrously different. with the team push Woo! Four. that's four honestly more than i thought we would do so that's a win mvp and just like that boom challenge accomplished we did exactly what's that oh we need to win one more game are, are we sure Great. Let's uh let's go ahead and do that, I guess. Let's go. Man, and that only took 4 hours. That wasn't bad at all. I thought I was going to be streaming for 12 hours today. All right. I got to spend like the next 45 minutes filming this video for YouTube, but I appreciate you guys checking this one out. Thank you so much. If you guys want to see more content like this, please check me live at twitch.tv backslash red the deer and remember to subscribe. Catch you guys in the next one. In your games, play smart, play with your heart, and be red-nosed. Bye!